<laughs> All right. Well, I like this lesson today better than the first three we've done. I think this lesson's kind of fun. Those other ones could be a bit confusing, couldn't they? Well, let's look at this. So what we're doing today, basically, is that we can make sure we can write multi-digit numbers using base 10 numbers, uh, base 10 numerals, number names, and expanded form. That's just a fancy way to say we can write words, uh, rather we can write numbers on the place value chart, we can write it in word form, and we can write it in expanded form. So if we can do that, which I think you'll be able to, we'll be good for today. So number one says represent the number 90,523 in multiple ways. That word represent, you could say show, show the number 90,523 in multiple ways. And then it gives us three ways that we're supposed to show it. Now remember, this will be a lot like your homework, so pay attention. So how many hundred thousands are in this number? Well, we need to know our place value. We know ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. There are none. So we're not going to put anything in that box. How many ten thousands do we have? We've got nine ten thousands. How many thousands do we have? Well, we have zero thousands. How many hundreds do we have? We have five hundreds. How many tens do we have? We've got two tens. And how many ones? We've got three ones. Might be easier when you do that to start on the right side. I started with the left, but just start with your ones place and go that way. We'll do that one that way on the next one. So write 90,523 in word form. Well, that's easy. It's You just write it exactly how you say it. You got to know how to spell all these number words, though. So 90,523. Let's write that. 90,000. And remember, even when we're writing in word form, we are still supposed to put our comma after thousand. 90,000, comma, 500. Twenty, and these words like 24, 23, 72, there's a hyphen between them. There's a, a hyphen between the tens and the ones place. So 23, 90,000, comma, 523. Okay. Now, Write 90,523 in expanded form. Well, let's do what he did first for this first problem. How much is nine ten thousands worth? How much is that worth? It's worth 90,000 plus, how much is zero thousands worth? We're not going to put anything there. It's zero plus, how much is five hundreds worth? Well, it's worth 500. Plus, how many are two tens worth? It's worth 20 plus three. So we're just going to copy down then what we wrote up here. We don't put anything for the thousands place because there are no thousands. So expanded form looks like 90,000 plus, what's our next number? 500 plus 20 plus Three. That's expanded form. So here it is on a place value chart. Here it is in word form. Here it is in expanded form. Let's look at the next next question. All right. So we've got the same type of question. It's just a bigger number this time. So this time it asks us to represent this number in multiple ways. All right. So let's do it on the place value chart. And this time I'm going to start from the right. It's a bit easier, I think, to do that. So we'll start in the ones place. How many are there? We have three ones. How many tens are there? There's zero tens. How many hundreds are there? There's two hundreds. How many thousands are there? Five thousands. Ten thousands. 
There's zero ten thousands, and do we have hundred thousands? We sure do. We have nine hundred thousands. So that is that number shown on a place value chart. You just take each number and put it in its correct place. Now we've got to write this in word form. That sounds fun, huh? How can we, how do we say this word? Well, let's take those periods. So let's just say this. If you saw 905, how would you say that? You would say 905. But this is in the thousands period, so we say 905,000. And then what? 203. 905,203. Let's write that. 9 hundred five thousand what goes after my thousand yes a comma two hundred three there we go that's that number in word form expanded form let's try to do it without writing in the place value box this time. So how much is 900 thousands worth? Well, that's 900,000. If you need to go back at the place back value box and write it, you can do it if it helps you for your homework. Do we have any 10 thousands? No, the next place is 5 thousands. How much is 5 thousands worth? Well, it's worth 5 thousand, right? 5 thousand plus two hundreds would be 200 plus no tens plus three ones. So there is that number in expanded form. Now, look at this chart. We've got to complete the chart. We've got, it looks like we've got to give two forms for each number. Well, let's, let's do one form at a time. I like doing it like that. So let's go ahead and fill in these three blank standard forms with the clues we have. And standard form is just the number. 2,480. 2,480. What's that look like? Well, 2,480. There it is in standard form. Uh-oh. I don't have the word form. I'm going to have to look in expanded form here. And let's just go over here and take each place. So this is a 10,000. I have a 2 and a 10,000s place. Do I have any thousands? I don't. So that means there's zero thousands. Don't forget your comma. How many hundreds do I have? I have four hundreds. How many tens do I have? Eight tens. And how many ones do I have? Two. So that is the expanded form of 20,482. Now let's get the standard form for this number. 64,106. All right, 64,000. Well, let's just put 64 and comma. That shows us 1,000. 64,106. How's 106 look? It looks like that. 64,106. So we've got this column done. Now let's work on the word form. That's the hardest one. It takes the longest, doesn't it? I don't know if it's the hardest, but it takes a lot of writing. So we've got to write this number in word form. Let's say it together. 20,000, comma, 482. Now let's write it. 20,000, comma, 400. you got to kind of write small, don't you? 80. Put your hyphen, two. I fit it, but barely in there. 20,482. All right, this one's done. Let's move down here to this one. Okay, I like, this helps me cover up the first. What's that say? 604, the comma reminds me it's 1,000. 604,000, and what's that number? 16. 604,016. I'm going to start way over here this time. Six hundred four 
thousand. Don't forget our comma. Sixteen. That one wasn't too bad, was it? Okay. Notice in these words, you see a word that's not there? The word and. Sometimes when we talk, we say 604,016. But we don't say we don't ever write and in word form, and we shouldn't really say it that way. We say it just like it's written here. It's the correct way to say it. All right, let's look at this last one. Nine hundred. So oh, I want to get you. To, what does that say? That says nine hundred sixty. The comma remember, reminds us to say thousand. And what's that number? Sixty. So nine hundred sixty thousand sixty. Let's write it. Whoops. Nine uh, in. Let's, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine hundred sixty thousand. What goes after our thousand? Our comma, and then the number or the word sixty. All right. Well, we've got our word form column done. That's great. So what's left? Expanded form, writing all those plus signs. So let's break it apart. How many thousands do we have here? 2,000 plus how many hundreds? 400 plus how many, eight, how many tens? We have eight tens, which is 80. And how many ones? We have zero. So remember, we don't write zero if there's no zero, if there's no number in that place. Okay, so 2,000 plus 4,000 plus 80 would get you 2,480. Yay, that one's done for us. So let's move on to this number. We've got a six in the ten thousands place, which is 60,000 plus thousand, thousands place. We've got a four. So plus 4,000 plus we've got one in the hundreds place. 100 plus, we've got six ones. So 60,000 plus 4,000 plus 100 plus six is expanded form for 64,106. Okay, let's take this one. Getting bigger numbers now, aren't we? This time we've got a six in the hundred thousands place. So that's worth 600,000 plus, we don't have any 10,000s. We've got a four in the thousands place, so 4,000 plus no hundreds. We've got a one in the tens place, so plus 10 plus six in the ones place. So for that big number, there's only four numbers we wrote. It's because there's only one, two, three, four. The other two are zeros. So 600,000 plus 4,000 plus 10 plus six is expanded form for 604,000. 16. Last one here on this problem. Let's start with a nine in the hundred thousands place. That's 900,000 plus a six in the ten thousands place would be 60,000 plus no thousands. Don't have any hundreds. We've got a 10 in this, a six in the tens place. So that's 60 plus, we don't have any ones. Well, that was easy, just three numbers. 900,000 plus 60,000 plus 60 is 960,060. All right, let's move on. That wasn't so bad, was it? Took a while, but it's not hard. Let's go to the next page, which is the last page, if I can turn the page here. Oh, and we just have one more to go. Let's look at it. Black rhinos are endangered with only 4,400 left in the world. Timothy read that number as 4,400. His father read the number as 4,400. Who read the number correctly? What do you think? Well, to read a number correctly, we have to say it the way it's supposed to be said. And even though there's really 4,400s, if we get specific in 4,400, 
That is not the correct way to say it. So who read the number correctly? Timothy read the number correctly. How do we know? Well, can there really ever be 44 hundreds if we're saying it correctly? No, because we learned that, that if you have more than a group of 10, then you move it over to the thousands place. So why did he say, why did he read it correctly? Because, well, let's put, let's put, how, we, because we can start with because it's okay. This is just practice. Because let's just say it like we've been learning. There is four thousands and four hundreds. There's not forty four hundreds, there's four thousand and four hundreds in that number, aren't there? So that would be a way we could explain that answer. All right, well, it's time for you to try this on your own. So go to your assignment. You can go back and look at my video and see how I did these problems if you need help. You can always go back and look at it again. Okay, we'll see you later. Good luck.